Hello. Welcome. JM League 6. We have Visual Gaming. The Gizual himself. The Gizual Vaming. Gizual Vaming. Versus... Against Jezza Pajamas. Yeah. A group this is, fam- um, this is actually a run back from last season. This was the round one. One of the round one matches from last season. Yeah. We've seen a lot of growth from Visual over here. Yeah. In that JM League. Mm-hmm. Like throughout the whole thing. And now we can get his Toon Link. Yeah, he was telling me actually he didn't want to play Pyro Mithra into this. He was preferring the uh, the Toon Link here. And, uh, I, th- I think FD was the pick. So I did tell him that he'll probably see FD because I think he probably would have banned Battlefield and um, Battlefield and Smashville. Um, yeah, th- those are those are good bands. Yeah. So yeah, Jesse PJ is going to be taking him to a flat stage and um, going to probably get some some down air combos, just some ladders. But, uh, and Josh going to aim to, to zone him out. Yeah, Josh said he specifically had one goal during this set, and it was to not get clipped. And let's see how that oh, goes. Oh, he and he's eight. done it! He's Josh done has it. officially not gotten clipped in the first five seconds. Good on him. Hey, he's got to do the rest for at most five more games. I think he can manage it. Yeah. Well, because it's always, once you're in that, that zero to 40%, you gotta watch out for like the, the Meta Knight clips. That's when exactly. they're most lethal. It's kind of like you kind of want to take some straight hits. It's as, it's as if you're playing against like Luigi or something. The strategy get in this matchup, right? Vi- visual, he should just run away and blow himself up with bombs until he's past combo percent. That's, that's literally what people do with Luigi. It's so funny. Like you'll see like Link play against Luigi or like Charizard play against Luigi and just flare blitzes for self damage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's fair enough. That that's how you. Uh... Ensure that you don't get BS. Yeah. But uh, all the while, Jesse PJ is still holding on to the first stock, 93%. Oh, good F smash. I mean, Vajul, he said his, uh, he wanted to just run away and use boomerang and stuff the whole time. Which is fine and good, but then it comes to killing and it just takes, it's an issue. Mm-hmm. Like, he's got back throw and up B, I guess. Yeah. But he's definitely going to struggle killing. If he's yeah. not wanting to get in. He's also which... not really using Bomb, and that's like such a quintessential no. part of Toon Link's kit. Yeah. He... Um, like, because a lot of his kill confirms come from that Bomb, up air, forward air. So, other than that, like you said, yeah, it's just going to be relying on a straight smash attack or a, or a back throw. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Oh, oh no. wait. Okay. okay. He got out he's, of that. He's good at Visual. Cracked like an egg. It's yeah. happening. This bomb. Look got, at the got... arrow! Oh my goodness! Oh, okay, oh, that was a go. roundy up smash. It, it got him in the end though, so really good. Uh, the bomb is also pretty good too, because it could also serve as a, as a combo breaker potentially. Yeah, you could kick ladder him for too long, he just explodes on you. Yeah, the unfortunate thing though, two Link's bombs I do think last the longest out of all three Link's. I mean technically Link, because it like blows up after 30 seconds and is the remote bomb. But yeah, Toon Link's bombs definitely last a lot longer than Young Link, but unfortunate stage tech, similar to how Jesse PJ took that first stock. Yeah, just got the stage spikes. Visual's got to get on these uh, techs. Yeah. I like the... It's, uh, it's, it's pretty hard, all things considered, actually, because Jesse PJ, you know, he can mix it up so well, because you can either keep just hitting down air, and that won't send you into tumble, and you might just air dodge, or he can mix it up and hit you with a nair, which does send you into tumble. Yeah, he's just got so many options in the air. You have to be really on your grinds to not get obliterated. Yeah. Uh, but PS2 is going to be the play here. Yeah, nice big open stage. Got the platforms. Um, and can space probably quite better with... Um, yes, projectiles, especially that bomb. I'm really hoping we see more bomb usage here in, uh, yeah. in the subsequent games. No character swaps? No, I don't know what Visual's first character swap would be. Like, who's he going first if he doesn't play Toon Link? Like, I think Samus, probably. Probably Samus. He did seem pretty adamant about not playing Samus when I talked to him earlier. Oh, really? Okay. Because I was of the opinion, yeah, he was adamant on not playing Pyramithra. Oh, yeah, but both of them, right? So we yeah. might see that Banjo is extremely <laughs> unlikely, but he might bring Ew, it out. Ew, don't play that. <laughs> <laughs> This stinky ass character. Oh, right. nice tether. Yep. He's okay. 
One thing about uh, Visual is that while he's on the grounds, he's only ever shoots the boomerang like in that same straight up angle. Yeah. So I feel like just a PJ, he's getting like the download on that. So yeah. he might, you might just see him run in. That being said, though, oh. I think what what is good about it is um the threat of the return boomerang. If he can just constantly oh, bring true. it out there. Oh, dude, that <laughs> got behind him. It was behind him. That's not fair. The masked menace. Yeah, but no, that boomerang. Can definitely, you know, similar to the bomb, interrupt some combos, especially on the return throw back. Um, but I haven't been seeing too much of it. But hey, at least you know it can check Jezza PJ if he's going for some aerial approaches there. Okay, clip broken. Yeah, that was so good. Nice. Oh, I was hoping to wait for the boomerang to come back. Yeah, just like that little bit of chip damage. Uh, Jezza PJ probably would have mashed out though, so probably yeah. a smart call. No, just there. He like barely crouched. It didn't matter, but I like just the um, he's cognizant enough of the boomerang to just crouch beneath it. He crouches it. What matter? That? He can't really crouch at all. He's just a sphere. That's what I mean. I don't think the crouch isn't that impactful. Like he doesn't squat down like Kirby does because all that armor. But um, yeah. Alright, things aren't out of the, the woods here for just a PJ. Visual has taken a lot of percentage here, but um, is very close to getting the skill. That oh, that's throw, the that's There the you stock. go. Okay, cracked. Like an egg, if you will. Yeah, exactly. These bombs, like an egg. Bombs are like eggs, because they explode when you touch them. And they even have that uh, the animation, the um, the orange inside, like the yolk. Yeah, and, and eggs smoke just like bombs do. <laughs> yeah, of course. So well, yeah, when you put them on the pan, they sizzle. Yeah, up. they sizzle, just like visual. Oh, it's all coming oh, together. It's, it, it just works. It just works. Josh has thought about this years in advance. He's been waiting for this moment to show us what he's made of. All and right. by what he's made of, I mean eggs. Anyway, let's get back to the game. I am talking about eggs too much. <laughs> I love it. All right. Um, I do like the defensive usage of the bombs here as well. Like, that's something we needed to pick up on. Ooh, okay, good. Okay. Yeah. I think that was bad DI, but it didn't matter. Nowhere near close to dying off that off that up throw. Nice now. Like, they get off me. That's so fast. Like, it's... Oh, Ooh, wait! Punish, punish? Ooh, yeah. Oh, okay. Good up smash. Yeah, yeah. Who'll take that? It's a solid, like, 20%. Because, uh, yeah, Toonlink got max rage now. No way! Oh. Holy! That was below 100. Okay, Visual has, after losing his... Oh, that was oh, so unfortunate. I think he was, yeah, he was hesitating on how to recover, because if he Zed, then he would have dropped down because of the chain. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Jezza PJ was just ready right there. His only option was an early up B, but that would have put him in free fall. Yeah, how Jezza PJ, he just whittles away your resources off stage until he has no choice but to get Ned and die. Yeah. Tragedy. Although, Visual's still looking really good right now. Can easily get a quick kill yeah. and um, hasn't taken too much damage. Although, off the ledge now. All right. Oh, you love the bounce with the side B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He makes it safe. He knows how to knows how to cheese. He can, you can see the cog turning in uh, in Josh's head, just like how do I get how do I get this kill? Sort of like steadying his approaches. Wait, I think I just realized. Jezza PJ gets significantly buffed by the rule set or by the changes in JM League 6, right? Because he has the camouflage. Because everything's pink. That's just what you get being a Kirby character, I guess. Yeah. Alright. But... Yeah. Oh! <laughs> the footstool? The BM. I don't think he was expecting that, but back throw from center stage. Alright. A dream if a visual here. No, like, Visual has like made a comeback in this game. Like he can just start playing really patient. Yeah. But just not when he's cornered like this. Oh wait, no, he's good. Oh, oh does he have a double jump? He doesn't, does he? No. Nah, I think that's death. Oh, oh so close. No. That went down. Dude, the two minutes on the clock. That was such a good like back and forth. Just war of attrition. Yeah, really unfortunate there. He sort of got got caught drifting after he's, he dropped the bomb. And Jezza yeah. PJ just flew underneath the bomb and hit him for it. Just double jumped over the stage. Jezza PJ is just like, no, you can't do that. You just get to die now. Alright, but... Could see a run back. Yeah, I'm just going to run it straight back to PS2, I think. Okay, 
okay. Oh, the Captured Falcon. Wait, okay. what? This is crazy. I have not seen this. I did not know that Jeremy has the Captain Falcon. Yeah. I also did not update the scores. I apologize. <laughs> wait, no, wait. He does. Never mind. I'm stupid. Alright. This is an interesting one. Josh has played against Maelstrom before. Um, our resident Falcon main here. Uh, okay. And also against Chibi a few times too. But um, Falcon can also cheese, similar to Meta Knight. But at least he's not as small. So he'll get comboed a lot more easily from a lot of visuals confirms here. He's a lot less flirty, so... Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of visuals game plan was around countering what Meta Knight can do, so... He's probably a bit thrown off by this, but... Yeah. But I think he can definitely make this work. Oh, Yeah, down air, up air. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, the lingering hitbox of the up air. Really, really good. The back throw off stage, not going to kill, but... Puts him in a good position. Oh, yeah, the pressure on the ledge. Yeah, this is a really, really good back throw. Oh, a bit stale in the now. Corner. Yeah. Oh, this left, exactly what it This corner pressure is so good. There you go. I don't know what that was. That was a fair, the smoke. I think. Probably forward air, yeah. That was good. F tilt. F tilt. Solid 10%. Oh my god. The lingering. Oh my god. Dude, that last hit. Oh, that late hit of up air is so good. <laughs> oh, but that down air to the knee. Oh, well, looking like Chibi. Looking like Maelstro. Looking like Koi. The golden joining falcon. Joining the Falcon Hall of Fame. Yeah. I'd Jack mentioned Jack. I'd, I'd mentioned Drinkwater, but his Captain Falcon's only good in his dreams. So, <laughs> oh, he didn't hear me. Damn it! All right, never mind. But yeah, look, you could visual... you could say it again just louder if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, Visual doing really well here. Like, look, 97% on uh, Chesa PJ here. Visual looking very healthy. Oh, that was so good. He didn't um, auto tether, so he actually swung down beneath it and avoided the knee that way. Which was good play. Visual is giving up, like, wait, when does a PJ was off stage and he was on ledge, he didn't just stick there to try and uh, do He just kind of retreated to center stage, which probably yeah. isn't the best idea. You want to abuse stage control if you got it. See, just dashing away. Yeah, I mean, I know it's a. It's a, it's a exactly, distance, yeah, exactly right. It's a bit still. of a give and take, especially given the context of Toon Link's archetype. Because uh, going back to stage isn't terrible. Like, your opponent does get up for free, but at least you're still maintaining the center. Actually, that's a good point. What's better for Toon Link, would you say? I mean, it's context dependent, right? Like, at this percentage, you definitely want to stick at the ledge because Falcons need kill percent. You could find, like, a, a Nair or a forward air or a bomb confirm or something um, instead of opting. But I guess at those lower percents, you could definitely opt to, to stick to center stage. Oh, but nice it's going to catch, yeah, the approach in the jump in with that forward air. Although, but a forward air of his own, the knee. Completely even. Nice, good up B. Ooh, oh, the good boomerang. boomerang combo. Dude, the return actually did like 4%. Gets the trip as well. Oh, the arrow, the dash attack. Just stringing together magic here. Getting custy with it. Oh, untouched. 65%. No answer for, from Jessa PJ. Alright, just a single jab. 1%. One, <laughs> 1%. He's like, no zero to death for you. What he lacks the damage he makes up for in the mental game. Yeah. Like... Imagine you just get jabbed one after beating this guy up the whole stock. He'd be <laughs> reeling. What's happening? Why is he calm? Uh oh. Okay, no, he still has a jump. Back throw. Alright, get him off stage. Boomerang. Bomb. Oh, nice. Call the jump. Arrow. Oh, hang on. Alright. Yeah, things can be very scary here because Captain Falcons, they all love to go for the down air when you're covering the stage, but just a PJ gonna give. Visual a chance, holding center stage. Nice, good up air. Nice up 150, there. yeah. One oh! good hit away. <laughs> that smash could have been it, but it was in the wrong way. Could find. Oh, hang on, up tilt. Okay. So that dash attack is safe on shield, I'm especially against sure, Falcon, yeah. which you wouldn't think just by seeing it. But oh, 160. I guess, he just oh. needs to find a throw. He needs to find something. F tilt even. Up tilt, not gonna do it. But gets that damage on. <laughs> Still uh, goes to the back there. Not from the other side of the stage, unfortunately. Uh oh. Oh, Max Rage Falcon, things are dicey here. 
Oh no! Oh, dude, just watching him land is so frightening. Oh, this is so tense. I th does up throw a kill? I know Young Link and Adam I don't Link have think up throw kills. Oh, but the Wait, back, the air. back air? No! Good DI! Oh, almost 200. 200 on Jezza oh. PJ. How is he living? Oh, that's, that's gonna be it. That's that it. has to be it. Oh my okay. goodness. Visual Let's go it. for... Foul show. <laughs> Wait, like, how did you mess that up? Briefly forgot how to say visual, Valjul. but I found it. Valjul. I was going to say, Valjul breathing a sigh of relief there. Oh my goodness. It's well done, Valjul. Getting on the board. That's all you need. That momentum. Yeah. Although, Jezza PJ gets to pick a stage now. Yeah. Or at least he gets advantage in it. You think he's going to go back to Meta Knight? Uh... Or trying to get his Falcon to work again? I don't know. We'll have to see. I think Falcon could definitely work on Town and City. I'm not sure what Visual's bands are going to be. I think... It's like small battlefield, battlefield, and Smashville. Though I think in yeah, this case this, this... he should probably opt to ban town and city as well. Um... well it depends on what just is going though. Oh yeah. FD. I mean either way, like you know, Meta Knight also likes um, town and city just because like those uh those chains, those down air chains off the side. It's like That's the back air will kill super early. Oh yeah, the Meta Knight's coming yeah, back. Yeah, he's back the, on the Meta Knight here. He's had enough clowning. He's gonna go and cyber bully Valjul. Yeah, I think I don't know, maybe it's a maybe it's a meta game actually because look, if you're visual, you're drained after that that Captain Falcon match with how I mean, tense and how close it was. Yeah, it, it was a close one, but I feel like just the knowing that you've gotten one win on the board is enough to. Be, like put in some ease of mind oh definitely yeah yeah, yeah. there's so there's some uh, mental swap there's some mental gain and some mental loss here he's sitting comfortable that he's able to he would have taken a game so this could be the start of a reverse 3 0 momentum uh but then in just a pj as well you know he's had some time off the the meta knight comes back with a fresh perspective and uh he's playing well compared to the falcon well this pressure his visual just being cornered Alright. Oh, that was a good dare. Oh, and the Cyclone not hitting as well. I, I think this song's actually Dark Meta Knight, which is funny, and it was played like random. It wasn't chosen, I think. Oh no, the buff. Yeah, and that forward air, really good edge guard. See, Captain Falcon can't do that, but he can go out there with Meta Knight, got five jumps. This chill stage. Oh, and bad down air. Oh, this could be the start of something. Not gonna get any follow up off that down throw. Getting him to 8% just to start. Because, like, can you start them at zero just off a grab? I'm not sure, but. Look, 20 is, like, perfect. Perfect percentage for the Meta Knight cheese combos. Like, he's trying to bait out to start the combo. Yeah. I mean, he can afford to do that, right? He's a whole stock up. But. Ooh, okay, that up smash could have been curtains, but good shield. Oh, again. Hang oh, on, okay, he has wait. a jump. Oh, air dodge. Oh, no. Oh, no resources. Ah, oh, this is looking dicey for visual now. 115, Jezza PJ holding onto this first stock. Oh, beautiful spot dodge. Yeah, I no feel like knowing all, how to DI that back throw is extremely important, especially against uh, Visual Soon Link. Oh, that's going to be the stock. Yep. Yeah. All right. A bomb, an egg, and a dream for our hero <laughs> here. Uh-oh. Uh okay. Oh, I went past the ledge. Okay, nice. Good early up B. Nice, Boomerang saving him there. Oh, he's done it again. Okay, he's able to go Just to ledge this time. trying though. to go for the down tilts. I feel like one of those hits without a jump, it's all over. Yeah. Yeah, like down tilt into like just a down air. And just a PJ is a kid to <laughs> <do> that. <laughs> oh, still oh, oh, I thought that, that, that Boomerang was going to catch him. That would have been so good. All right. Oh, got all the, the turnaround animation. Okay, signs of life from Visual here, 99% Jezza PJ up throw. Like, the comeback is real though. Like, Definitely. if he just, if he can get oh, the kill. Oh, where is he? Oh, no, the, the stage spike! 
Valjean got scrambled. This, but he didn't get like a combo clipped, so yeah. I count this as a clip for him, uh, as a win. Yeah. In all but oh, name. That's so unfortunate. Yeah, that's the, what, three or four times that he, he died from the stage tech, unfortunately. But uh, put up a good fight. Look, that's a, that was a long set. I mean, yeah. it went down Painful. to the wire, just zoning and just like, just, just a PJ, just matching that, that pace of the game and um, just sort of picking and choosing his, his, uh, his approaches. So really good stuff from both players.